Whether you're feeling all nostalgic or you're checking them out for the first time, there are loads of absolutely classic Xbox 360 titles that you can play on your Xbox Series X. And in many cases, they're now even better than they were before. Even now, a decade and a half after its release, there are few games as guaranteed to get your adrenaline going as Mirror's Edge. It puts you in the bright red running shoes of an underground courier named Faith as she free runs her way across a futuristic city. Its fluid controls combined with the first person perspective makes for an incredible level of immersion. There are points in the game where you really will feel your stomach drop. The reboot Mirror's Edge Catalyst fine-tuned face skills even further and provided a graphical update making the game's crisp, minimalist art style look even fresher. Plus, it now runs at up to 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X thanks to FPS Boost, a very handy feature to have in a game where missing your mark by a few inches might send you plummeting off a skyscraper. And thanks to EA Play, Game Pass Ultimate members can check out the original and Mirror's Edge Catalyst right now. There might not be a more beloved game from the whole 360 era than Halo 3. The third entry in this legendary series remains one of the high watermarks in the history of first-person shooting, providing players with an epic campaign, insanely fun multiplayer and the invention of our beloved map editing mode known as The Forge. And everyone's favourite Spartan Super Soldier is now looking even superer in the Master Chief Collection, which lets Xbox Series X players enjoy both Halo 3's campaign and its multiplayer in 120fps while also providing resolutions of up to 4K even when you're playing in split screen. Halo 3 still offers one of the best couch co-op experiences around and if you've never tried it before, you should absolutely head to Game Pass and grab the Master Chief Collection right now. Just this year, the Prince of Persia franchise was boldly reinvented with this side-scrolling sensation known as The Lost Crown. So it's far from the first time the series about a somersaulting royal has been flipped on its head. 2008's Prince of Persia introduced us to a whole new prince, a new world and a stunning cell shaded art style. After teaming up with a princess who is packing some extremely helpful magic powers, the two of them set off to save their ruined land. Aside from just being jaw-droppingly gorgeous, the game took a unique approach to free running and combat, somehow coming up with a system that's totally exhilarating even though you can't technically die. Bethesda produced not one, but two medium-defining action RPGs during the Xbox 360 era, giving us both the irradiated adventures of Fallout 3 and the epic fantasy tale Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. One has nuke launchers and super mutants, the other is more of a magic spells and maces join. But both of them let the player loose on a vast open world filled with fascinating characters and let them pick their own path through it. The great thing about these games is that no two players will experience them quite the same. And the other great thing is that both of these titles are available on Game Pass, plus a bunch of other iconic Bethesda adventures. But which one is your favourite? Mine's Skyrim. Hit the comments to let me know. Whether you're looking to romance aliens or battle killer robots, Mass Effect gives you pretty much everything you could ask for in a space opera. While the incredible storytelling and deep RPG mechanics that the Mass Effect series is known for were there from the beginning, the firefights got noticeably tighter and more fluid in the second and third games. Fortunately, the Legendary Edition came along not only giving the whole trilogy a complete visual overhaul, but brings the first game's combat in line with the other two. And you Game Pass Ultimate members can check it out now thanks to EA Play. If Bustin makes you feel good, then you've probably been pretty great recently with the release of the latest Ghostbusters movie. So why not strap on your proton pack once again with Ghostbusters, the video game. Based on the beloved original movie, this third person shooter features the likeness and vocal talents of the original crew. So you can find out exactly what it's like to battle ghouls alongside Bill Murray. The game is also as timeless as the film, especially now that it's been remastered so you can enjoy the whole adventure in 4K Ultra HD on the Xbox Series X. Outer space is a pretty frightening place to be, especially when you're trapped on a ship filled with flesh-eating monsters like in Dead Space. 
this grungy third-person survival horror game evolved the genre in a bunch of freaky new ways back in 2008, stripping back the HUD to keep the screen nice and clean while the player messed it right back up with the game's innovative dismemberment system. Amazing what industrial equipment can do when you forget everything you've learned about health and safety. Game Pass Ultimate members can treat themselves to the original Dead Space experience or go straight to last year's remake which features stunning graphics, smoother gameplay and seamless progression through the game without a load screen in sight. No game embodies the phrase deceptively simple more than Braid. What looks like a simple side-scrolling platformer turns out to be a work of pure maddening genius thanks to a variety of ingenious time-bending mechanics. It forces you to think totally differently to solve the game's puzzles and the game's story promises to have you rethinking your actions in a totally different way too. Backwards compatibility allows players to turn back time and enjoy the original game while a spruced up anniversary edition is set to arrive on the 30th of April. Gears of War introduced players to a gnarly, war-torn world filled with chainsaw guns, rifle-toting subterranean monsters, and just about the slickest cover-based shooting the world had ever seen. Oh, and it also served out one of the greatest couch co-op experiences of all time. No big deal. Marcus and Dom's original locust blasting adventure was remastered with improved textures, graphics and sound for the ultimate edition, with FPS boost then ramping its frame rate up to 60 FPS on the Xbox Series X. The rest of the series has been boosted too and the whole thing's available on Game Pass. What more could you want? In 2006, Rockstar traded in their serious crime for boyish shenanigans with Bully. Set at a prestigious boys' school, Bully is an open world game where you're free to explore as you like, just as long as you make it to class on time. When you're not hitting the books, you can build relationships with other students, take on all sorts of side missions and play your part in the click-based turf war that has taken over the entire campus. You know, typical teenage stuff. No one has really made a game quite like Bully before or since, so it's well worth checking out the Scholarship Edition, which boosts the graphics and throws in some bonus content for good measure. In Darksiders, you get to play as one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, as they fight to restore balance to the universe before an almighty battle between heaven and hell wipes the whole thing out. So you should probably get a move on. It's a badass premise which makes for a brilliant hack and slash game as you steadily gain access to a whole arsenal of apocalyptic weaponry, from the humble scythe to the pointy death boomerang. The War Mastered Edition has been upgraded to run in 4K Ultra HD and Darksiders is another classic 360 title which has been blessed with an FPS boost, so you can now slap demons around in 60 FPS. Platinum are really good at making action games. Like, really, really good. So good that they produced two absolutely cult classic titles in the space of two years. First, they whipped out the witchy wonder that is Bayonetta. Here, the players get to brawl with some bad-natured angels, finishing them off with some spectacular special moves that may or may not leave you oddly on clothes, but don't worry about it. Then there was Vanquish, which is like a jet-powered version of Gears of War, where you get to knee-slide your way around your enemies while blasting them with machine guns. Both games are ludicrously stylish and insanely slick, and they now come together in one lovingly remastered package called the 10th Anniversary Bundle. If Alan Wake 2 got you feeling all nostalgic, you know, when you weren't hiding behind a couch in terror, then you'll be glad to know that there's a couple of great ways that you can check out the first game on Xbox Series X. Alan Wake's first mind-bending psychological adventure has been giving the FPS boost treatment too, so you can enjoy the original and smooth 60 FPS. Or you could hop over to the remastered version which lets you see those horrors in 4K Ultra HD and also throws in the game's two DLC expansions, The Signal and The Writer. Xbox Series X already has some great Star Wars games on the books, but the Jedi series already killing it and Outlaw is looking pretty darn peachy too. Plus, you can also dip back into the 360 classics The Force Unleashed. Playing as Darth Vader's secret apprentice, these third-person actioners lets you unleash your inner Sith and use all of those force powers you were always taught were a big no-no. 
choke people out with your mind, zap them with lightning from your fingertips, or slice them up with that signature red lightsaber. As long as you're doing something evil, you can't go wrong. With its eerie underwater world, darkly philosophical storytelling, and imaginative FPS gameplay, Bioshock quickly earned itself a reputation as one of the best to ever do it. Make your way through the paradise turned soggy hellscape that is Rapture, using all sorts of elemental mind powers to take down the murderous mutants that now roam its halls. And whatever you do, try not to get on the wrong side of a big daddy. Those drill arms are not just for DIY. You can play through this iconic adventure plus the two excellent sequels in the beautifully remastered Bioshock collection. For a long time, Tony Hawk was the only name in skating video games, and his are still pretty awesome, especially on the Xbox Series X, where you can grind and ollie and do all those other skater words in smooth 120 FPS. But the 360 era also saw the emergence of the Skate Series, with its physics-driven, twin-stick approach to skating. It makes for a whole different experience that emphasizes realism and makes pulling off those more complex tricks unbelievably satisfying. The developers are currently cooking up a new entry to the series. In the meantime, Ultimate members can check out the originals on Game Pass thanks to EA Play. The next Fable game is one of our most anticipated titles. I mean, seriously, look into giant Richard Ayoade's eyes and tell us you aren't psyched too. And the original game has aged just as beautifully as well. The weird, wonderful, extremely British fantasy world of Albion looks even better than ever in Fable's Anniversary Edition, which also adds in a bunch of neat features like a smoother interface and achievements. It really makes turning yourself into an all-powerful demonic god king that much more satisfying. Fable Anniversary and Fable 3 have both been magically enhanced with FPS boost and you can grab the whole trilogy right now from Game Pass. Fight Night Champion established itself as the undisputed heavyweight champion of boxing simulations back when it was released in 2011. And it arguably still holds that title today. Its full-spectrum punch control setup allows players to really pick their punches with purpose and precision, while the dynamic physics engine lets you watch the blows ripple across your opponents and makes for some incredibly slow-mo replays. With everyone from Muhammad Ali to Rocky Balboa available as playable fighters, Fight Night Champion still packs one heck of a punch, and is available with Game Pass Ultimate thanks to EA Play. Last up, we've got a game that's synonymous with the Xbox 360 era, Crackdown. This super-powered cell-shaded sandbox game is a bit like a souped-up version of Grand Theft Auto. You'll still be exploring a vast open city, taking on missions as you see fit, and getting involved in all sorts of criminal happenings, only this time you're on the side of the law. And also, you're a super soldier. Bounding off buildings and while raining fire down on the bad guys isn't textbook law enforcement, it is a whole lot of fun. And the three Crackdown games provide all sorts of fun ways to show off your supercharged skills, and they're all available in Game Pass too. Do you have an Xbox 360 title that stands out above all of the rest? Hit the comments to tell us about it and why you love it so much. Bye!